Hi, I'm Allie with the Potomac Bee Company, and I'm going to go over with you how to do our Rose Monte bracelet. The Rose Monte bracelet is a nice little glittery eye-catching bracelet that's done with six millimeter round or bicone beads. And in this bracelet here, we've used pearls. The one that I'm going to be doing today, I'm going to pick up um, some matted glass beads. It's also using Montes. The Montes that are on here are an SS16 or a 3.8 millimeter. The ones I'm using are just going to be a little bit bigger, and they're in a blush color and they are SS20s or 4.6 millimeter. I'm also using 110 seed beads. It is a two needle project so I have on two size 10 English beading needles and I have .006 wildfire beading thread. I've threaded both of my needles and I'm going to start here at the end of my bracelet by putting on my first six millimeter, my first six millimeter bead. So I'm going to put my first six millimeter bead onto one of my needles and let it drop down to the middle of my thread. And it's just going to drop down right there to the middle. After my six, I'm going to put on an 11 on each side of my needles. I'm going to put a six on each side of my needle. And then I'm going to put another 11 on each needle. The next six millimeter bead that I put on I'm going to put on my right needle going from right to left and my left needle going from left to right. So I'm crossing through that fourth six millimeter bead that I put on. I'm going to pull nice and tight and you'll be able to see here that little shape that I'm getting. What I'm going to do is continue to do that pattern and eventually we'll set the Montes kind of right in the middle. So this bracelet we're working on the base first by doing that pattern. So when you're looking at it, we're going to be doing the base. So to continue on with our pattern, onto each needle from now on, we're going to put one of our 11 o seed beads, one of our six millimeter beads, one 11 o seed bead. Pick up your other needle and do the same thing. 11 o six millimeter, 11 o. Let those drop down next to the last beads. And then my next rotation that I'm going to pick up is a 6 o or six millimeter bead. One needle going from right to left, one going from left to right. So the thread is crossing in the middle of the bead. Pull this nice and tight. And I'm going to continue with that pattern the whole way along the bracelet till I get to the entire length of the bracelet. At this point in my smaller sample here, I'm going to pretend that this is my full length of my bracelet for this sample. Here is at the point when I'm done with the base is when I'm going to add my clasp. To add my clasp, I'm going to put on three to five, I'll put on four, three to five 11 o beads. I'm letting them drop down next to my six millimeter bead, that's my final bead. Picking up my other needle and doing the same thing. I'm gonna add four of those beads. You can choose to use a wire guardian um, or you can use French wire or you can just go right through the thread. This bracelet here example, um, French wire was used. So for this one, I will not use French wire just so you can see the difference a little bit. I have four seed beads on each side. I'm gonna go through my lobster clasp. Whatever clasp you wanna use will work. I'm going through my lobster clasp with one needle, taking that same needle and going back through all of the other 11 O seed beads and coming out my six millimeter bead. What that's going to do is double the thread that's going through your clasp. Next thing I'm going to do is take my needle on the other side, go through my clasp and go back through those 11 O beads on the other side. After coming through the 11 O bead, I'm going to mimic what I did on the right. After I have those threads both back through, they're going to be coming out a six millimeter bead. Onto each needle then, I'm going to work by getting ready to put on my Montes. On go three 11 O's seed beads onto each needle. So I put my three 11 O's on each needle. And then I'm going to pick up one of my Montes. The Montes, when you look at them, they have a little cross section in the back that you can see that the needle can go either direction. We're going to take advantage of that cross section of the Monte here. And I'm going to put my needle and thread one going through one way 
and one going through the opposite way. So I'm basically crisscrossing my threads in the middle of the Monty. Once I do that, I'm gonna pull my threads nice and tight. So when you're looking at them, the Monty's gonna sit right in the middle there. Onto each needle then, I'm gonna repeat those, putting those three seed beads on each side. So I'm gonna put three on the right side. And then I'm also gonna put three on my left hand needle. To finish this cross section, I'm gonna take my needles and I'm gonna crisscross through the next six millimeter bead that is in the rotation. So you're gonna lay your Monty down and you'll be able to figure that out when you're looking at it. My Monty gets laid down right here in the cross section over my beads. You can see it sitting nicely here. And I'm gonna sew from right to left and left to right through that six millimeter bead. That is then gonna pull the Monty in nice and tight against my beads. And it's just gonna sit right there on top of my beads. You can see then when you continue with your pattern, you're just gonna get more and more of that brilliance and shine. So again, on go three seed beads on each side, crisscross through your Monty, three seed beads, and then throw a 6-0 bead. Continue to do that the whole length of your bracelet. Now that I'm done putting my Montes on, I'm gonna show you how to put the clasp on the other side. Again, there's multiple ways to do the clasp and to decide which style you want to. You can check out some of our other YouTube videos if you wanna do a different way, I wanna put a guardian on. Um, but to do it simply, what I'm gonna do is repeat what I did on the other side with my lobster. On go four of my 11 OC beads. On goes my clasp. Four more of my 11 OC beads. I'm gonna circle this back through my 6-0, or six millimeter bead, and that creates one of my loops. On the other side, I'm gonna take the needle, and just to reinforce it, anytime I'm using thread and a clasp, I'm going back through all of those beads again, and that whole rotation, and then I'm gonna go back here to the side, and on the other one, I went back through that six millimeter bead. However, with this one, because I'm at the end of my bracelet, what I'm gonna do is pick up these two threads here. My two threads, I ended them on the same side. And I'm gonna take those two threads and tie them in a nice tight knot. You can choose if you want to take your extra threads then and reinforce the bracelet and take it back, or you can choose to do it a little dab of glue and cut off any extra thread that you have on. So that is how you do the rose Monty. You can switch up the sizes that you do. All you'll need to figure out is you might need to use a couple extra sea beads in there if you wanted to use an eight millimeter. The four millimeter, you might wanna change your size of Monty's and definitely stick to um, an S12 or 16 when you're working with that. So have fun and check out our other YouTube videos. Again, if you need any little hints on um, cutting your thread, burning it, attaching your clasp, check out some of our other videos and uh, like us on Facebook and hopefully you enjoyed this one. So thanks a lot for watching.